Yes, mean. Well, Ikebana is often called the Japanese art of flower arranging. And take a look at this beautiful piece right here. Let's get a close up shot because it is wonderful. It's a peonies, uh, branches, and feathers. And this is really a new way of doing Ikebana. It's called Sugetsu. And there's a free exhibit called The Magical World of Sugetsu. And it aims to showcase beautiful arrangements and the harmony between man and nature. And joining us more with more on this event is Layla Diamond. She's an event coordinator from the school. Of Sogetsu School of Ikebana. Good morning, Leila. Good thank you morning. so much for joining us. Thank you. This is an amazing arrangement, first of all, it, and it's really a new way of doing Ikebana? Actually, it's not really new. It started back in 1927 oh, okay. um, with uh, the advent of the Sogetsu School of Ikebana. It started with Seifu Tageshihara, who established the, Seif, uh, the uh, Sogetsu School of Ikebana. And what he did was he revolutionized Ikebana by bringing in a contemporary mindset to the traditional art form of Ikebana. And he also um, pushed the boundaries by incorporating plants and materials of different types and all types to be used, which made Ikebana available and accessible to everyone throughout the world. And um, now, today, there are um, three uh, prominent Ikebana schools mm -hmm. and one is Ikenobo, the second is Ohara and the third is Sogetsu and I am from the Sogetsu school of Ikebana and Sogetsu of the three is the youngest it is um, the most avant-garde and it is the most contemporary of all three. I love the avant-garde <laughs> because it has those feathers in there, which you don't it normally sure see in a floral arrangement. Sure so is. there's going to be a, a wonderful event at uh, Line Kona, which is across from the uh, old Honolulu Academy of That's Arts, right. now called the Honolulu Museum of Art. What are folks going to be able to see there when they see these beautiful exhibits? Well, we will be showcasing the works of the Sugetsu Hawaii students, and we will have nine large-scale uh, sculptural compositions and seven of which will be indoors in the uh, Linacona Art Center. One will be at the entrance, and one extra large uh, Ikebana composition will be outdoor on the lawn with undulating bamboo strips. Oh, it sounds It'll be fabulous. fabulous. All it right. will be. Well, Layla Diamond, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much for <laughs> bringing in this beautiful arrangement. Thank you so much. Again, it's the Sogetsu School of Ikebana, and the exhibit will be next Friday, June 8th. Uh, for more information, you can go to our website, kitv.com, and all the information is right there on our screen as well. To see this interview again, you can go to the top video section of KITV.com. We'll be right back.